Rodrigo, Paulo Sotero there just outlined the challenges that the new president faces. But, you know, uh, he's been making headlines around the world for some very different reasons. He's been called all kinds of names, a misogynist, a racist, homophobic. Uh, he has expressed support for Brazil's former military dictatorship. Uh, given what some people regard as his extreme views, uh, is he going to, able to be able to get the country together, to get rid of divisions in the country, to implement his agenda? Yeah, I think he will. I think this is a distraction to talk about homophobic behavior and st uh, racism. I don't think it's the issue here. I think he has the, uh, a big challenge in economy. He needs to approve the, the pension fund uh, reforms and other reforms. Paulo Guedes, he was my boss for six years, so I know the guy. He's a very patriot guy, very able economist. Uh, he studied in the University of Chicago, Milton Friedman's, uh, Milton Friedman's house. So he has the right recipe for what needs to be done. The big challenge here is execution. And Bolsonaro will have to show that he's able to unite. And when we're talking about union, we are not talking about the, the worker party. Uh, I, we know that there is going to be a, a, a irresponsible opposition. Those guys, those socialist uh, people in Brazil, they were never uh, together with the reforming agenda. Not even in the Plano Real uh, of the Social Democrats. They, are, they were always against Brazil. So we, we cannot count on them. So when we are talking about a union, we are talking about a union uh, not considering, not taking into account the socialists. Uh, we, we cannot count on them. So I think Bolsonaro has to unite the center and the other people that understands the urgency of this economic reforms. These are uh, uh, the priority here. Uh, if, if he doesn't reform the economy, he won't be able to succeed in other areas. I totally agree with Paul on that. Bolsonaro is, of course, promising big changes. Uh, let's listen to part of what he had to say uh, in his speech. I'm standing before the nation in this day when people are starting to get free from socialism, free from upside-down moral values, free from an inflated state machine, and free from political correctness. So, Rodrigo, is that what Brazilians want? Because there is one view, one analysis of the election, uh, says that people didn't vote for him because they like him. They voted for him because they dislike the opposition more. Uh, can he deliver, do you believe? It's uh, uh, partly true. Uh, Bra uh, Brazil was and is a kind of socialist country. Uh, for example, in the manifesto of Marx and Engels, there is, uh, the, the fifth uh, item there is to concentrate the credit in the state. 50% of the credit market in Brazil is in the state on banks. 50%, half of it. So uh, the, inter the level of intervention in the economy is just absurd. We have more than 400 state-owned companies. So Brazil is a socialist country, not to speak of Foro de São Paulo, of the uh, Worker Party uh, uh, supporting Venezuela's model and Cuban model. We were a socialist, almost so socialist country. And now we need to unleash entrepreneurship. That's right. what Paulo Guedes means and Bolsonaro means about getting rid of socialism. We need free market economy. We never had that in our country. And we know uh, for a strong economic theory and uh, from uh, facts, historical facts, yeah. that's what works. That's what uh, uh, brings people out of poverty. We can look at China now and we can understand better. It, millions and millions of people getting out of poverty because of free market measures. Let me ask you about something else, Rodrigo. And this was a grievance among Brazilian voters, a big grievance, in fact, the endemic corruption in the country. Um, how is he going to tackle that? The concentration of power and resources in the state is the main reason of corruption and also uh, not to punish corrupt people. Uh, that's what is being tackled by uh, the car wash operation and, and Sergio Moro, the judge, as a minister now, means, uh, uh, symbolizes uh, uh, to end this, uh, this kind of impunity. But uh, corruption means uh, resources concentrated in state. The mechanism of incentives are just terrible if you concentrate uh, power and, and money in the state. We are talking about distribution of wealth here. Yeah. If we want to distribute wealth, we need to tackle the privileges. We, uh, the the uh, 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 employees of the state are the ones that concentrate the best benefits and the best wages. 
So we need to distribute wealth. Okay, let's reduce the size of the government. That's the same recipe here. Everything right. is together in this kind of uh, recipe.